Good afternoon. I'm here with captain of the 2022 Theatre Sports team, Ryan McGuire. Thanks for having me. What made you want to join Theatre Sports? Well, at the very end of my fourth form year, I was approached by a very enthusiastic and now vice captain, Max McCauley, who insisted that I come along and see what Theatre Sports is all about. I was a bit nervous at first, but I knew I had a lot of energy and enthusiasm, so I thought I'd give it a shot at the start of my fifth form year in 2020. Energy and enthusiasm is all you need for theatre sports. Absolutely. What have you learned from theatre sports? It certainly tests your stamina. You have to be prepared to embrace failure and face risk. And the audience sees the uh, player undefeated by that which would bury the average person, to quote the inventor of theatre sports. Players learn to improvise a scene on limited information and certain parameters. They ensure that their ideas contribute to a scene uh, in a relevant context along with adding to ideas of uh, their fellow players in order to create a coherent scene within a time span of about two to three minutes. Oh, awesome. So what are the goals for Theatre Sports this year? We hope for many more enthusiastic students to come and join us uh, in future years. This will allow us to strengthen and improve on our skill to be able to uh, compete against other Auckland schools but also provides a space for students who are interested in improv to have a go at practicing and have a bit of fun with us. Would you recommend um, joining Theatre Sports and why? Oh absolutely. It's a great place to have fun. Uh, you get to uh, immerse yourself with people who are outward going and have uh, lots of energy and you can forge strong friendships with people. How can boys learn more about Theatre Sports? So whether you have prior experience or if you are uh, totally new to this and are just curious about it, we welcome everyone along to come to our Theatre Sports practices on Thursday lunchtimes in the Centennial Theatre. Or uh, we, you can have a look at our uh, Theatre Sports Gravinet page uh, where we have a multitude of photos of past performances. They're pretty uh, interesting to see. And we've got uh, Miss Roxburgh, who's our teacher in charge, and Mr Chen. Uh, you can ask them what it's all about. Yeah, it's all about giving, coming and giving a go. Absolutely. What are you looking to educate the grammar community about? I hope that our members' continued passion for drama and improv eventually leads to the school providing and establishing a drama department at grammar. Uh, there is a strong interest amongst our theatre sports cohort and amongst the um, drama production crew for um, uh, learning drama. So I believe that uh, creating drama as a department will not only give uh, those students interested um, the chance to actually study it as a full-time subject, but allow the theatre sports boys to compete against other Auckland schools with a similar foundation um, of drama skill. Do you do any other extracurricular activities? Yes, I do several. I do service-based activities like the Silver Duke of Edinburgh program. I am, have become a prefect this year. Um, and I am the head library monitor and have served the library for the past five years at Grammar. Uh, in sports I am part of the distance squad and social tennis and this year I have joined the literati, the rainbow group and have started tutoring students. Very busy. Very busy. So what are your plans for next year? I intend to study at the University of Auckland, a uh, conjoint degree of global studies with law and if there is a theatre sports group on offer there, I intend to uh, consider. So how do you balance your extracurricular activities with your academic commitments? Yes, I ask this question to myself. It is difficult to balance my academic studies with my extracurricular commitments, especially with the A2 course that I do this year. Um, it, we are lucky as a student body to have the variety of extracurriculars offered to us at Grammar and I encourage students to search and find a footing for which extracurricular activities they like, but equally it is important that you have enough time for yourself uh, to rest. So this could be watching a TV show with your family in the evening or having a sleep in on a Sunday morning. And to do this, uh, you must uh, learn to politely and respectfully say no to certain activities. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Ryan McGuire, for giving us uh, insight on what it is to be, what it's like to be the captain of Theatre Sports for 2022. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.